Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Arrow and the Arrow Arrowverse as a whole. We've got some major new casting news that has been not officially announced, but technically leaked, and this is out of a convention. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Alright, so Tom Welling, who played Superman and Clark Kent on... The CW Smallville series for many seasons was at an event at a convention called Armageddon New Zealand I do believe that was the convention and he was doing a panel I guess talking about Smallville and then this is what happened so this is coming from a Twitter user called World of Mirror that is where I'm getting this information from and this is what they had to say I was at a guest panel an audience member mentioned the uses of multiverses in DC, then into the CW. Before they could ask the question, Tom said, I will be in the next season of Arrow, full stop. The audience member said, well, that was my question, thank you. So it seems like this is official confirmation because he didn't even get asked the question and he just goes straight out and confirms it. Yes, I'm going to be in Arrow season eight. We know Arrow is ending next season. This is the finale. So does this mean this could be in crisis? This is very interesting. We're going to talk about some theories, whether he's going to be playing that same version of Clark Kemp from Smallville, because we got the teaser in the Elseworlds crossover. There was the Smallville version of the Green Arrow suit. There was, you know, a dead corpse. I think it was in one of the early scenes where we first met the Monitor with the other version of the Flash played by John Wesley Ship, and so we saw that. So that seems to be like a rough sort of confirmation, but also not at the same time. I guess it's probably just a reference, but anyway, so that was, you know, set up and laid in, and we know that Tom has been approached many times, I think, to appear on Arrow by Steven and the producers, obviously, but then also on Supergirl because they like casting legacy actors and Tom is part of that legacy because Smallville is part of a big legacy on the CW so we don't know if this is canon but let's talk about some theories so he could just be coming onto Arrow to just play a role in Arrow rather than Crisis we'll talk about Crisis in a sec so is he just coming on just you know playing a normal role perhaps like Terry Hatchell when she came on to Supergirl she didn't play her previous role of Lois Lane, I do believe, I haven't watched the TV show, but in Lois and Clark, and she played a totally different character, she was Rhea of Daxam, she was mon mother, so totally different, they've done that many times on all these different shows, including, say for instance, what I just mentioned, John Wesley Shipp, he didn't play Barry Allen initially, he played Henry Allen, but obviously we had the different versions of him pop up every now and again, now we have one version of Barry Allen, played by John Wesley Shipp, who had the original 90s Flash costume. So, my point is, Tom could totally be playing just any random person on Arrow, but then, on the other hand, he could totally be playing Clark Kent from Smallville. He could be that same person that Smallville ended with when he becomes Superman. I haven't watched Smallville, I've only watched a few episodes, so I know the rough outline of the show that he slowly becomes Superman. You see all these different iterations of the heroes when they're younger, and yeah, so it's just kind of the build up to him becoming Superman. So, what happens if we see Tom Welling as a different version of Superman? just himself from Smallville, the same person, but is he from another Earth? That would be so exciting. Perhaps in Crisis, we see Tyler Hoechlin's Superman from Supergirl, who I love. He's one of my favorites. If he appears in Crisis, and then we see the different version of Superman in Crisis, that being played by Tom Welling, that would totally link up to the comics. Obviously, they're not doppelgangers, but, you know, they're different iterations of each other, like John Wesley Shipp playing a version of Barry Allen, and Barry obviously being played by Grant Gustin. They're not doppelgangers. He's a doppelganger of Henry Allen, not Barry, but he is essentially Barry, if that makes sense. So, what happens if they follow the comic book storyline of Crisis on Infinite Earths with there being actually two Supermen but there is one from Earth 1, there's one from Earth 2 in the comics, so 
they could change that totally like it could be from any other earth but we see Tyler Hoechlin and then we see Tom Welling side by side that would be amazing and I don't think that's too far-fetched now that he's confirmed he's 100% going to be an arrow he didn't say what specific episode so he could be you know recurring an arrow he could be a regular next season or he could just come for one episode just as a cameo he didn't really confirm as the world of mirror actually said all the facts are he's confirmed to appear in arrow season 8 there's no confirmation of exactly who he will play so it could be just a cameo it could be a regular he could just be popping up for crisis because when he says arrow obviously we have to infer initially this is just on the arrow tv show but arrow is going to have an episode in crisis and if he's going to be superman i think the best point to bring him in would 100% be Crisis, there's no doubt about that. So, on the other hand, he could be just a version of Superman, but is not totally connected to what he played before. He could be playing a different version of Superman, but not the same version, so he could be playing a completely different one, say from Earth-52 or something, rather than, say, Smallville, which maybe was from, say, Earth-23 I don't know, 23 or something. So he could be a totally different character, but obviously playing the same one. So right now, all we have is the confirmation that he's 100% going to be appearing in Arrow Season 8, according to the man himself. So that is all you have to look forward to, because obviously we can theorise about tons of stuff, but I think the best news here is that he is appearing, and especially with Arrow ending, we know he's good friends with Steven, they've done some stuff in the past with Steven's knocking point company, I'm fairly sure. Like, Steven's really good friends with Michael Rosenbaum, who was actually rumoured to appear on The Flash as Godspeed. That's just a rumour right now, I'm not sure about that. But they're all really good friends because I think, you know, the mantle was sort of passed on to Steven from Tom Welling and, you know, Michael playing Lex in Smallville and all these different sort of leading stars in the CW's previous superhero run and then Arrow sort of started the Arrowverse and now we have the idea of the multiverse and maybe we can sort of tie in Smallville and we've seen elements of that because if you remember back to the Flash season 1 near the finale and this was a long time ago, we saw obviously Supergirl who was currently on the CBS network so that was separate, but then they crossed over and that confirmed, yes, Supergirl was from Earth-38 rather than Earth-1. They exist in the same multiverse, but not the same Earth. And in that same scene, we saw John Wesley Ship's 90s Flash, who was running, and this was all when Barry was time-traveling just to rejog your memory. And I believe there was a hint for Legends of Tomorrow before it actually started at Season 1. We had that very early on, I guess, when they were shooting, like early sort of concepts of what legends would be so they've done that they've teased stuff like this and with the multiverse i think there is a high possibility that they can canonize smallville into the arrowverse just say it's from another earth or perhaps it was in the past and you know these versions of the characters don't exist anymore and they were just you know maybe a race from the timeline or something like that with say reverse slash changing the timeline and things like that so there is a whole lot that we can talk about. I think it's just so exciting to see the legacy casting. And like I mentioned, I'm not a Smallville fan. I've only watched a few episodes, but I think the concept of maybe bringing him in in Crisis to have these different versions of Superman would be really, really great for Smallville fans, but great for comic book fans because I am expecting a lot of new characters. I'm expecting sort of what it was like in crisis on infinite earths when you're reading it i love it it's my favorite dc comic book but you see all these different characters literally like hundreds loads of them get killed off so maybe tom just comes in it's a small cameo in the arrow crisis on infinite earths episode he dies he is the superman that perhaps dies rather than supergirl because in the comics supergirl and the flash die so i'm thinking maybe superman might die so maybe it's tom's character and maybe on the other side with the flash it might be John Wesley Ship's Flash that dies. So, yeah, I hope they follow the comics and I hope they bring in Smallville Superman played by Tom Welling for Crisis. But also at the same time, there's a high possibility he may not be in the crossover. He will just play a new character on Arrow for a brief period of time during next season because we've only got like 10 episodes next season as we end towards this 
sort of final outing of Arrow. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe if you're new and turn on notifications to not miss anything. So I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.